Well, uh, welcome to a foreigner in the Philippines and we're, we're at a different place today than we normally are because this is, this is Lena's house. So I'll turn, turn the camera on Lena's house. And hello, this is help coming here and they're obviously doing something which I know nothing about. But that's the scene. Good morning. That's the scene this morning. And hey, hey, hey. Hey, Masha. Silly dog. Shh. That's Basha making a fuss. Hey, Basha. Come on, stop it. Go. So, what the, I've volunteered to do is, uh, amazingly, right down there by, by Julio's house is where the materials have been dropped for Lena to keep them separate from us. So they have to walk with a, a 50 pound bag of sand from there all the way up, all the way along that road, all the way behind that hill and there's the the bridge they cross the bridge and then they come up the hill and they come up the back here so uh, I told them take some bags and they're going to take some bags down there and when they've when they've loaded six, 16 bags or so I'll take the truck down there and we'll just haul them up so they'll only have a, a fairly short walk they can tell me where where they want me to stop to unload maybe up there or maybe along there just on the other side of, of James and Jessica's house. So right now here's Lena and Lena we're going I'm going to help with the truck. I'm going to help your workers bring bring up the sand. Okay? Okay. So they're going down there now. And they're going to load, <laughs> and I'll bring them up, okay? It'll be very quick. So we're going to look at your job. Okay. So what uh, Lena is doing is she's building a septic tank. So if you've never seen a septic tank built uh, Filipino uh, uh, style, uh, this is uh, pretty well it. So we've got the back of the house and it's going to, the, I'm not quite sure what they're going to do for, for making the actual house itself, the toilet, the uh, bathroom, maybe on, the, on, on this side, not quite sure. But anyway, this part now has been cleared and that's the septic tank, it's, uh, it's pretty big. Okay, so that down there. now. What they often do, what we did with ours, uh, and it was Timio that built ours, we put a wall along the centre with holes in it every so often. And that supported the sides. They didn't brick the whole thing and they took it down and then they used rebar and they put a cover on it uh, with, uh, with cement, obviously concrete. And so that's, that's how they do that. And then they'll they'll run they'll run the feed pipe from wherever the bathroom is, and that I'm really not sure of, of how they're doing that. But they have plenty of timber here, so it might be a substantial building when they've when they've finished. But as far as having a view from your toilet, could it possibly be better than this? Look at that. Now in the old days when we first came here we used to walk past the old house of Lena that's the old house there and we used to cross and there used to be a pathway that went here and the path went off and down there you can actually see it if you can see where my finger goes and then it goes down there and then down uh, and there's a well down there by by some 
rice, a, a couple of rice fields and there's a well down there. And in the old days when I first arrived here, every day we used to walk down there and we used to bathe down there. Filipino style with our clothes on, many more clothes but with our clothes on. And that's Rado's house there. And that is ever changing. And Rado's house, now when we brought in the grader, you can see going from Rado's house, I'm going to do it with my finger because I can't see on the viewfinder because it's too, it's too bright. But the, the road goes and then it goes a little on like that, goes on to the top. And that along the top there is the road that goes to Alping's house. Right? And for those of you who have never seen this, uh, it's a change of subject, but this is what they call a boot stick. And it's called a boot stick because it's a long stick and on top of it is a boot. And that's about as good an explanation as to why that's there uh, as you can get. Oh, wait a minute, I saw some other half boot sticks and they obviously are boots and shoes that have been washed and are drying. Now, the mystery is solved. That was a tense one, wasn't it? Uh, the mystery of the, of the boot sticks. But we solved it, so that's good. Well, here well, there's a mother, mother and chickens, only two, probably because the dogs have had the rest of them. Well, that, all that rebar is for the roof of the septic tank. Okay, well, well, from here, it's looking pretty clean. And there's, there's our perfectionist visitor. Are you finished? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for being with me on this a little peek at what's happening at Lena's house.